Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Richard Conway reporting from for Room Now from ACR 2024. Um, and what a what an opening day we've had um, here at ACR. Um, as you know, I'm a, a big vasculitis guy, um, and it's been a, a great day for vasculitis. In the opening plenary session of ACR, we've two massive vasculitis abstracts have landed. Um, I've already written an article on the taper study, and um, that should be up on Room Now. So go uh, check it out there. And um, that is a landmark study and is going to change clinical practice. But I'm here now to talk to you about the other um, study that was presented, which is the SELECT GCA study. It's a study of upadacitinib um, in giant cell arteritis. It's abstract number 770. So this study compared upadacitinib and a 26-week steroid taper to a 52-week steroid taper um, and placebo. There were two different upadacitinib doses. There was 15 milligrams and a 7.5 milligrams. The 7.5 wasn't really as good, so we'll just forget about that and not talk about it anymore. So we're focusing on the 15 milligram dose, which is the same dose that we use in, in rheumatoid arthritis, so the dose that we're used to using. Now, this study um, is the largest study ever done in giant cell arthritis, 428 uh, patients um, recruited. Primary outcome um, here was sustained remission at week 52. Now, the numbers here for the upadacitinib group, it was 46% were in sustained remission at week 52. And for the placebo um, and 52-week steroid taper, it was 29%. Now, if when you first see those numbers, um, they may, might not sound terribly impressive. Um, but if you think back to the GIACTA study of tocilizumab, they are quite uh, similar numbers. And in fact, I would say that, that these two studies are two of the most positive studies that we have in rheumatology. This is the biggest impact that we see from a drug in, in changing um, outcomes uh, for patients. The other thing um, we saw here, again, very similar to what we saw in GIACTA, is that the upadacitinib group got much less steroids. So they were getting 26 weeks instead of 52 weeks. But of course, if they'd been having relapses or whatever else, they'd be going back on steroids. But it ended up that they got about half the steroids, 1.6 grams versus 2.9 grams. So I've mentioned it a couple of times, and the, and the, this study reminds me so much of the GIACTA study of tocilizumab. The results are very similar. The design is very similar. And coming out of it, you'd be hard pressed to say which of these two drugs is better. In fact, they look so similar that it could really be a flip of a coin uh, between them. And that brings us to the, the crux of the potential problem for how this trial will get into clinical practice in that we have the JACTA study, which was seven years ago now, it was published. We have tocilizumab available. We're using it in giant cell arteritis. This drug seems to be as good, um, but we couldn't reasonably say that it's better. And then there is all the other stuff that's gone on with the JAK inhibitors um, regards safety warnings, um, regulatory issues, and then potential reimbursement issues. And it's quite hard to, to know at the moment how upadacitinib is going to fit into the giant cell arthritis um, disease um, management algorithm. I think we... we see with tocilizumab that it's extremely effective in giant cell arthritis. It is unusual that somebody would truly fail tocilizumab or that tocilizumab would truly fail them. There are a small number of people that does happen to. There are a small number of patients who do have side effects and can't stay on the drug. There are a small number of patients who do not want to do an injection treatment. And for these, upadacitinib might be an option. Of course, the other thing is we have other agents coming as well. There's other um, medications coming relatively soon to the giant cell arthritis uh, treatment space. So it'll be an, an interesting time ahead. So I'm Richard Conway. You can follow me on Twitter at Richard P.A. Conway and tune into Room Now for all the updates from ACR 2024.